Hi, I'm Ultraviolet. Welcome to for ultraviolet the light that can see in the darkness and today we're going to be exploring virgo's energy and how it may be affecting the collective uh with its magnetic push and pull um i'm sorry i haven't been on youtube lately uh, i found a new job because i wanted to get out of the house more and my schedule hasn't been the same for two months so i couldn't plan my life around it and i'm finally getting back to myself i'm really happy about that my studio's um ready now it was a mess for two months um, now I cleaned it up today and I'm ready to attack this YouTube platform and give you guys your collective readings. So Virgo is in a very beautiful energy, um, very focused, very intelligent. Uh, blue Jay is your totem right now. I had a vision yesterday of the head of a Blue Jay and my brother catching it with his hands and setting it free. And me, I'm like, leave it alone. Like <laughs> I was trying to protect the Blue Jay and he just let it go, right? Um, so my brother to me is someone that likes to hinder my growth and that could be symbolic for the people you're dealing with people that were keeping you stuck and not letting you express your truth and only wanted you for your body that's why the bird was bodyless you're releasing that because um you're special you're intelligent you're 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 blue jay it's like um it's a sign that you're you're about to receive happiness you know like bliss and virgo knows that um, they are, are a unique flower in the world you know and there's um every time you look at them there's something new and beautiful about them because this flower is iridescent and like an opal opalite um the moonstone so every time you look at it you see it never looks the same so you're someone that continuously grows and blossoms and and creates and uh, self cares and you're very unique and you probably dress very eccentric or something here um so let me put this here. It was a gift from a friend, and I find it beautiful. Um, thank you, and bless that person. So let's go up to, like I said, you don't have to be a Virgo, right? Where we have birth charts, and um, we all carry multiple energies in our spectrum, right? Um, so what's Virgo dealing with? I'm taking private readings again. You just uh, all the information is in the description box below. Look at that. The high priestess and the chariot in reverse wanted to come out and the ten of swords. Um, you know exactly what you should go forward with and what you should end. You know, like, like this is no bueno for me. This is perfect. This is great. This is conflict. Uh uh. No, nope. Yes, nope. You're like, what makes the cut right now? You're exactly what makes the cut, right? Like, uh, partying. Nope. Uh, not a. Uh, drinking and repetitive like routine nope nope like weak ass shit drama like complainers uh people that want pity Ooh, wow virgo magician that's crazy you're so powerful number one right you're putting yourself first you're done you have all the tools to manifest anything you want in this world and like i was saying you are a unique rose look Look how people see you, like there's roses around you. You smell good, you look good, you, you're you smart, you look like a magician, like <laughs> out of this world. Like, are you even real? Like, how do you do that? And how do you keep manifesting? How do you carry yourself like that? How can you rock what you're wearing? You know, nobody can rock that, but you can. And you're like, I got this, you know, like, and you're connected to source and that's all you need like people you don't really give a shit about you're looking at your manifestations right now you're looking at your infinity right continuous growth and, and sustainability here you're you're very clear-minded on what you want and what you're gonna do right because that was the song that was playing before I, did, I started the reading it was what you want what you gonna do oh my goodness this is crazy guys you have the fool the magician that's like Ooh. anything you decide you jump for it and the god because this is like my god card source zero get that um and you're loyal you're honest you're pure you're you're fun you're uh, sexy you're you're a fashionista you're you you go you skip through life like life is you're dancing through life life is so great you're 
the sun. You're the sun right now. And you're just having fun with what you want. And you're attracting it, manifesting it, doing what you got to do to get it. And you have faith in the universe. So you know you're going to always reach your goals because you're invincible now. You're an ascended master here. You have all the tools, air, water, fire, earth, alchemy. You're an alchemist right now. And it's like zero, which is the impulse, right? Whatever your, your thought comes, like whatever idea you have, the seed is planted whatever thought you have the seed is planted and you're going to see it blossom like a rose like everything you think is becoming like this type of rose you know like whoa anything she does is beautiful anything they do is amazing anything they think about is uh, succeeding like whoa how do they do that like everybody's curious about like what the fuck how did they do that like i don't understand like how the fuck do they get there like how do they have so much power this is major kind major kind zero one like it's you and god you're god pretty much you became a, a godlike being you're god yeah, you're exactly, it's like God created men in his image. You're just a little God. And it's, I, I'm hearing like, um, you are the, you are who you're with, right? You've been with God. You've been isolating. You've been one. You've been alone for a while. So you're a goddess. You're a God. That's crazy. And you can shape shit. That's why you were a blue jay and an eagle. And uh, like, it's crazy. I'm seeing you shape shit up there. And oof, you, you can fit anywhere. You can do anything. Jack of all trades. Set your mind to something and ta-da! It's abracadabra, right? Magic. Crazy. Oof, look at that. You hold the sword of truth. Because you're so honest and so sincere, so real, so yourself, the universe is blessing you with the sword of truth. It's like you're allowed to speak your truth. You're blue jade. It's communicative. And people sometimes don't want to hear what you got to say because you're stepping on their they're stepping on your boundaries. But you're the master of your life. So if you, they don't like it, um, they don't need to be around you, right? Like... People that are around you are people that are loyal to you and happy to be around you. And if they don't, they're not happy around you, then you shouldn't be around me. Okay, like it's that simple. But, okay, yes, I'm holding a sword, but I'll only stab you if you lie. I guess you know if you're a liar. Let's see. Yeah, three. It's like in reverse. You don't need three. You need you and yourself, like you and God. You're done with people. You're just manifesting right now, meditating, and you're like, um, who from the past. Who from behind, right? Because right, every, every, right now in the moment, everything that happened is in the past, right? So anything that happened even yesterday or an hour ago, you're met, always thinking about, is it good for me? Is it really harmonious? Because this is the Six of Cups. So you're thinking like, is this connection harmonious? Yes or no? Should I keep it? Nope. Yes, yes, nope. Yes, nope. You're very, um, you're strategizing pretty much. Yeah, strategizing over what you're going to create and with who. People that have the same common belief systems, values, you know, morals convictions they don't have those and you don't you're going solo with your um overflowing passion for life and love for life a white horse you're free to go wherever you want and create whatever you want because white is every color of the color spectrum right so if you're like this flower you can mold into any other flower ten of pentacles it's you have it you got it it's like you won the jackpot in life you became a magician you ascended so who needs financial security when you're a magician? Like, you're God. The universe is got your, The universe is going to protect you. Yeah, God is going to protect you, but not like human gods. You're not committed to um, 3D things. You're committed to 5, 5D. So that means... Um, okay, no, you're not committing to things that don't help you um, go up, you know, if they bring you back to behaviors that were you from a past, a past version of yourself, you're not committing to that, you're like, no, I'm a new version of me, a, a funky version of me, someone that is authentic, so if people are trying to dull you and mold you into something that you're not just to people please, because that's the theme this week, people pleasing, like, learn to say no with your time, there you go, passion, You want to be surrounded by passionate people, not people that complain about life and they never feel good. You want people that are passionate about like waking up today and they're not going to focus on what was. They're focusing on, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough <laughs> to keep me from you. So to keep me from your idea, <laughs> to keep you from, okay, so nobody can find any type of obstacle that could, um, how do you say that? Uh, block you from getting to your destination. They're not capable of doing so. Nobody, every, people that tried to block your path, they didn't, they didn't manage because they're not gods. 
yeah, they're fake gods, right? They act like they are, because if you see here, it's like they're priests and everything, but the person that really has the knowledge is the younger person here, not the people that appear to know everything here. The younger person knows exactly what they're doing. The older people, they're talking to each other, but not really talking to themselves, so they're not manifesting shit because not, they're not committed to nothing great. They're committed to toxic behavior, so they just don't fit with you. Uh, you're, they're, they're, they're knights, you're a magician, like very far from the spectrum because after the, the knight is a king, after the king is an emperor, after the emperor is a magician, so they're far from understanding your aloof energy here and how you are like, life is great, I have a magic wand, I'm Harry Potter, you know, or Hermione over there, Hermione. Okay. Anything else? Oh, look at that. A connection is coming to you, Virgo. A very nice connection. That's going to be very healing because this is the, um, I would call this thing, uh, the third, um, going to say I, was, uh, I forgot. This is the, anyways, it's like medicine, right? So this connection is going to be like medicine and renewing, like very um, youthful. You're going to, you're going to feel youthful with them. Happy, funny. I had a dream with a guy in, that looked like this, so maybe... I'm gonna meet someone <laughs> that looks like that. I keep, yeah, I look like that. I keep seeing him in my dreams. It's like three times. I don't know what that means. But... After let, um, making your decisions and standing in them, after the uh, interruption of other people's expectations of you, um, you're like you're making your decisions. What like like I said, this is staying. This is not whatever. After making them, some people liked it, some people didn't. You know, okay, you're out, you're out, you're in, you're out. Like, I gotta do this, right? I know exactly where I'm going and you don't understand it, so I can't work with you. I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're a knight, right? Uh, I hope I'll see you soon in the magician level, but you have things that you need to commit to, like self-love, stop um, putting toxic shit in your body, uh, stop being um, in and out, like inconsistent. Um, inconsistent people here, toxic people, smokers, uh, alcoholics, uh, drug addicts, like, if they treat themselves like that, they're not going to bring anything godlike to you, right? So these people are, bye, pretty much. <laughs> Virgos, mm, not, not dealing with just anyone. Let's see. Virgo, creation, I told you, that's fucking crazy. I told you, you're a little creator. God created in an image. You're a little creation, light. It is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. Being creative is a wonderful way in, at, of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. What I said, any idea, limitless creative, limitless creative soul. You think about it, you feel good about it, you're passionate about it, you make it. God is like, one, two, three, ta-da, like light. The, it blossoms into the light. You plant a seed, which is a thought, it comes out into the light because you uh, graduated from... Um, the 5D university in the spiritual realm and now you're just um, very high rank in the spirit realm so your spirit knows exactly what to do to bring you places in the 3D realm yeah in the 3D abundance right oh that's crazy you're gonna be so rich in every way shape and form when your heart's intention is to serve humanity doors of abundance naturally open it's to serve humanity you have a mission that the flowers that that I saw before um, give you giving flowers in the six of cups it's like you um, selling your creation to the world. The world needs that. That's what's going to bring you abundance. And that's what's going to open, yeah, open the doors of abundance because you're serving humanity with your heart, your passion. You're making it a physical reality and you're selling that. So you're selling your heart. So it's going to work. You're selling your passion. Strength. You're invincible. You have godlike strength now. You're being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. And that's what blue jays represent. Um... Um, there's a word like they're like a heads up your happiness coming like that's really what it means let me open a door just to let you see what i'm talking about Virgo. look at that freedom flows you have the freedom to create anything that your thoughts are going to flow and create don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom dream grand things for uh, dream grand things for divine sacred reasons don't hold yourself back from worldly freedoms look at that great door your church, your temple, your body's a temple. People that deal with you, they're dealing with something sacred, guys. You're really not someone they should fuck with. You're God's chosen. It's crazy. Whoa. Passages, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. 
it's like you're going through a portal. Do, 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 do. Like you see how I see it? It's like a vroom, 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 vroom. And now you're, you went through a, a portal and now you ascended into this great being. And a distant kiss is coming like someone is on the way. This, this person here is on the road, you know, um, ready to work with you. But it's in God's time, right? There's things you need to do. You need to work on your body, I think. I don't know. I think you need to like change your fashion or something. Or you've been wanting to buy new uh, clothing, a new style. Yeah, you see, you need new clothes. Your, your titties are hanging over here. <laughs> okay, Virgo, go get dressed. Let's see. Oof. Crazy, guys. This reading is so powerful. I'm about to... Um, <laughs> but like five of... This is the tree of life, the Kabbalah, right? Keter Shokma Bina Shesed Gebra Tefer Netzach Hodis and Malkut, and then you created something, and that's the tree of life. That's how you manifest, right? And these are the 22 channels of manifestation, which are the 22 major arcanas in the tarot deck. You know the recipe to create, right? And this is the light that I'm telling you about. Any seed you plant, you, you create light, and it, it, it's, it makes reality. It's like five change and creation. And seven of cups is, um, yeah, deciding on what to do because you, you have options. You have options. You're chosen, your divine feminine, your creative force. Let's see. And masculine, because you're a magician here. So your divine masculine feminine energy, your God, your balance, your whole. The rites of passages are over. Now you're just gonna have fun with the rest of your life with the things you commit to. You're committing you're committing to great things only, not the Antichrist, okay? Let's see. Ooh. Let's see that. Eleven. Wow, look, that's you. You have the secret. You have the, the again, the white horse, the magical horse, the rainbows, all the colors you possess. All your chakras are aligned. You know a lot about everything. You have the key to the Akashic Records, so you have the information that you need to go wherever you want to go. Virgo, you are whole. You're one, you're whole. Damn. And it's only a matter of time. It's divine time. That's what I'm seeing. It's like, don't, don't force it. Don't whip it. Don't crack it. Don't worry. It's like 11. It's, it's 11, 11. It's make a wish. Just make your wish. Don't, don't, don't fight with it. Make a wish. Be patient. You're, um, you're forever blessed because you healed your inner child. Now you know how to play again with life. Have fun with life again. You had forgotten this for a while and now you remembered. You're clever again. You're like, nah, I remember now. I need to be... Um, childlike, you know, childhood innocence, like, life is, is beautiful, there's so much to learn, so much to do, so much to see, and now you're remembering what you were all about uh, before society molded you, you remember your truth, you remember where you come from, Virgo, okay, that's so cute, let's see, do you have, look at that, Knight of Cups, so, you're gonna receive a love offer. Ooh, it's windy and it's gonna come like a, like a breeze. Like it's gonna sweep you off. Like exactly like this. It's gonna, it's gonna sweep you off your feet. This offer. It's gonna come unexpectedly. Like the time you won't expect it. That's why the clock is in reverse. Um, you won't expect the offer. That's so cute. <laughs> so pretty. Oh wow. And this Knight of Cups, like the offer, they're coming, but they're actually um, a King of Cups. Like they're gonna love you like a man should. They're gonna love you correctly. Um, they're just on the way. That's why they're on the horse here, but they're a King of Cups. So um, they're on their way. And once, they, uh, once they, they get to you, they could sit and settle with you and be happy with, their, with the person they chose to love. That's so cute. That's so cute. I like that. Virgo is very, um, I keep saying very, very, you're very, you're very of everything. <laughs> like you're um, not worried about where you're heading. It's always going to be divine because you're the master of your creation. You're the master of your life. You're the, um, you're the one that holds the secret to manifestation. Okay. So, oof, you're going to go far and fast. <laughs> Forward moving. Perfect. So, Virgo, this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for your clicking on my video. You guys are awesome. If you want a private reading, all the information is in the description box below. And um, don't forget to watch all other signs to see how uh, it may be affecting you during these times, okay? Um, take care. See you soon. Bye.